Yo, what's going on? But once again, people, humanity, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, and of course, as always, we'll talk to the Nikki Kamori's out there. This is Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Mini Wolverine. Of course, you guys in the rest, intros, and outros towards this channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all the other good stuff. I know I'm about three days late in this, and four days on the other one right here, as you can tell. Everyone's been shiny hunting the crap out of these things, besides, you know, shiny spoiling for Pokemon Go fans out there. And it feels like it's been a month since I've done this, but man, I've been really wanting to talk about this. But anyways, it says up here, Crash Team Racing Nitro Kart Fuel trailer is totally bonkers. And the person that made this article here, I gotta give credit where credit is due. I don't know why the hell it went up like that. That is so freaking weird. Sometimes I have a couple problems with this fucking um, mouse over here. So, um, yeah, Mike Herodence. So hopefully I said that last name right. Shout out to him for making this article right here. Links to description box down below if you want to watch the trailer yourself or just read the entire article your own in your own personal time. But yeah, before I do get into this, you know what? I'm just going to get an overall thoughts and opinions right now. While I do like it at the fact, I'm not sure if it's still going to be... um. Damn, I forgot what the fucking name of the article is called. Not the name of the article, but the name of the publisher and developers. I think they were called... um. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't remember their names. I remember it was something like, um... <laughs> I used to make fun of their names so many times, too. And then they made the original Crash Bandicoot Remastered games, too, That on top of that. Aquatic Dreams? Oh, no, Vicarious Visions. That's what it was, Vicarious Visions. I think they might be the same people making this game. Because they said they had something in the works in the future for, like, either 2019 or 2020. I literally thought this was going to be 2020 when this game was coming out. No. 2019. Holy shit, dude. This is some pretty big ass news. The only thing I'm not really too crazy about, I do like a lot of the remastered, some of the remastered tracks that they showed off. I remember they showed Polar Express. They showed Sewer or Later. And not the Sewer or Later, but one of those sort of like beautiful, funky looking um, tracks. They didn't show the Hot Air one, the one that had Pinstripe in it, or Pinstripe. And you, you had to fight him at that particular point in time. I miss that shit. Honestly, I do. But anyways, yeah, let's get into the article. Oh, one other thing I really want to throw out. They made a few changes to some of the tracks. I'm cool with some of them. There's one or two I have a little bit of a problem with. The only two voice actors I'm feeling right now, I shouldn't be throwing this under the bus, this game under the bus, this remake, remaster game under the bus, as I currently do with some of my other videos, with some other games, but... The only two voice actors I'm really, really liking, I don't think they reprise their roles as the original actors, but um, I did like Tiny's Roar, Tiny Tiger's Roar, and I I like that Jin's actor, the new actor that they gave for him. I'm, I'm feeling those two. I'm real, real satisfied with those, but I'm not crazy about... <sighs> the one with Coco Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot, Cortex, and um, Polar, along with Pura and Dingo Dial. Yeah, um, I'm having a little bit of a problem with those. They don't really sound exactly the same like their original voice actors did for the Crash Team Racing series. I think it was 2000 or 2001 when it came out. Oh, no. I'm not liking it too much. But aside from anything else, I'm hoping this is going to be a good-ass game with the game mechanics. So, anyways, let's read this article. I just had to get that three and a half minute short rant out of the way. Yeah, so links to this down here, or if you want to watch it on YouTube, it's totally up to you. It says, Benox and Activision. Hopefully I said that right. Benox and Activision. I polished off a new trailer for the Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel series. And it looks as mental as you remembered in, 19, in the 1999 original. I thought it was 2000. Oh, well. oh, I think it was 2000 when I got it at that time. Because, you know, of course I wasn't working at that time in my life. I was way too little. I was 10. <laughs> or 11 at the time. Yeah, Mario Kart's pretty bonkers. But this stuff is on another level. Hopefully I don't have to do a two-part news video. I apologize if I do in advance. Nitro Kart, Nitro Fuel. Is complete with a remake of Naughty Dog's acclaimed kart racers. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was Uncharted developers' final entry in the Crash Bandicoot's franchise. It looks pretty faithful to the original and a lot prettier. Crash Team Racing's Nitro Fuel due to the release is due to release on June 21st <clears throat> for the PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. Oh, man. I wonder if they're gonna bring back because I think in the PAL edition. I gotta keep going on to this overall thoughts, views, and opinions again for this game. I'm wondering if they're going to do I'm not sure if they're going to be 100% on this. Because I think in the PAL version, uh, a lot of you guys that lived up in Australia and the UK and the rest of the European countries, you guys got Penta Penguin. 
And I think Japan, a lot of the Japanese and the other Asian countries, they got Penta Penguin. I had no idea who the fuck this character was till years later when I found out. Shout out to my boy. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't talk about this on the channel. Um, Andrew, or better known as Crystal Fisher. I haven't said that name in the past few months. So I think September or October of last year when the whole Spire Reunited series was still a thing. It still kind of is, but I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm not sure about this one, guys. I really hope it does good. Obviously, the HD, obviously, of course, the graphics are going to be absolutely spectacular and beautiful as hell. Of course, the, there are a lot of them are like the trailer engines, to be precise. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this has nothing to do with the video, but my last video it was like at 120 views. Now it's 240 views. I rarely ever get that many people watching my videos. Usually I get about 10, maybe 20 tops. Before I used to get up to 50 then and just drop down to 20. So from the bottom of my heart, I can't even tell you how much gratitude and appreciation that is for me to say thank you so damn much. And I went past 200, 781 subscribers. Now I'm 785. Hey, if I get 800 subs, it's cool. If I get more than that, at least a thousand. That was all my always one of my lifetime goals. As crazy and pathetic as that sounds, but I really, really hope one day I just get one thousand subscribers. Ever since way back in 05 to early two thousand six, when YouTube first became a thing and was available to the to the world, I've always wanted one thousand subs. I never asked for a million or ten million or any of that stuff. But hey, if I get either eight hundred or thousand, it'd be very, very satisfying. So thank you very much for everyone that watched the Tra Dragon Ball Project Z um, video that I did a couple days ago. I appreciate that very, very much. I didn't think it was going to get that much attention. Holy shit. I think I got about eight or ten comments. Usually I either get zero comments or like one or two comments out the week. I'm not saying I'm trying to be an ungrateful bastard. <laughs> that came way out of left field for me. And because I know the video I did before that was kind of like bitching and moaning about not getting enough views and shit. I don't know if that's what happened or the YouTube algorithm was nice to me and that wasn't a prick. But yeah, other than that, Crafty Racing, I really hope to God they had the same weapons that they did before. They might have, might have added extra weapons. I'm not sure about that. And I really hope to God they bring Penta Penguin into like the NTSB version, which is over here in the United States. So I just make it an exclusive character for Australia and the rest of Europe and a lot of the other European countries. And I think a lot of the Asian countries that got Penta Penguin. Because over here in the U.S., and I think Canada too, we didn't get Pencil Penguin, so that's going to be awesome. My two favorite characters I used to love playing the most, excluding the main characters like um, Tiny Tiger and um, Polar. I used to love playing those a lot. I used to like Pearl a lot too, but her speed was crap. Her turns were really good, though. I remember that. Um, it was Fake Crash and Ripper Root. I really hope to God they make those unlockables again. Please! Activision and um, b -Knox Studios. I think if it's not Vicarious Visions making this game. Please make those two unlockable again. Please. I really, really want to see, like, this 10, 11 year old me will be screaming like hell, even though I'm an old 30 year old man now, but I don't give a shit. I will always, I guarantee fucking to you this, I'm always going to be a child at heart. I'm not trying to sound like that weird ass fucking new Christian, but oh my god, please let this be a real fucking thing. This has to be real. There's no way in my mind that it's fake. Anyways, um, let's get on to the second article here Pokemon Go Hub. Pokemon Go Lunar Year, New Year 2019 event, Shiny Spoink and Double Catch and Evolve XP. I, I hear about this from a lot of other famous like Pokemon Go YouTubers or even smaller channels like this one chick. I got to give her a shout out. She deserves so many more subscribers. She's hooked up to like two other big YouTube channels and two other big PokeTuber channels like Burkeeper Toby and um, what's his name? Joe Merrick, the dude that created Serebii.net, which had a little bit of troubles and issues with that site. But um, because sometimes they don't get the attacks right for which Pokemon they're supposed to like learn certain moves at certain levels. I complained about that on their Twitter um feed. Not their Twitter feed, but like a lot of their Twitter threads. And they got back to me and they fixed it up. So thank God. Anyways, uh, this chick named Virtual Accomplishments. I'm surprised she doesn't have 100,000 plus subscribers. Same with this other dude. I know a lot of people may or may not know this anime manga reader. His name is Rogers Base. Roger the Luigi. Some of you people might know him. Others might not. He was one of Atticus friends. His girlfriend, which is uh, Megan something, Kate McCain, or not Megan McCain, Megan Kina, whatever her last name is. She's a really badass, awesome cosplayer. So I'm surprised she only has like 10, 11,000 subscribers. Oh well. So yeah, I'm only going to read this briefly. I'm just going to get my overall thoughts. Season plan is done with this. Oh, um, I might as well say this now. I'm not really crazy about the Spoink and um, Grumpig thing being shiny because 
I've gotten like about 40, maybe 50 tops in the main core series game for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Both together, I think I got 20 of them, 20 shiny grunt pigs in my Ultra Sun, and then like 30 shiny grunt pigs in Ultra Moon. And I think I got about five or six points in the Mega Ruby a couple of years ago. So there's that. So it says Trainers, a new XP mini event is live to celebrate the Lunar Year. Or excuse me, Lunar New Year. Titled Pokemon Go L Lunar Year, Lunar New Year 2019. That's a tongue twister for me. I apologize. I keep messing that shit up. We can co confirm that the Shiny Spoink is available in the wild. The event lasts from February 4th to February 13th <clears throat> at 1 p.m. PST. This event comes off the heels of the Hoenn event prior to the an another anticipated Valentine's Day event. And it's a great opportunity to stock up rare Pokemon candies and shiny spoinks. Event features 2 XP for catching and evolving Pokemon. Rattata, Ekans, Mankey, Ponyta, Lectabuzz, Dratini, Mareep, Miltank, Torchic, Pugiana, Spoink, and Veneri will appear more frequently. Increased chances of Pokemon for trades from trains becoming lucky. New field research. Trade 10 Pokemon with a friend rewards a Charmander, or excuse me, Chimchar. Pokemon increased with spawns. Fun fact, each of the 12 Pokemon increased spawns represent an animal of the Chinese Zodiac. Which I'm not going to try to put politics or religion into this video, but I, I myself, I don't believe in a lot of this, like, these, like, symbols and signs. Well, I believe in some of the symbols, but when it comes to a lot of the truth, they're, like, deep underground community shit. But I really, really hope to God either get Shiny Mankey, Ponyta, or Shiny Puchiana. Those three will be a blessing in the freaking sky. If Niantic Labs let me, lets me have one of these three as a shiny. I know I got, already got a whole bunch of Mareeps and Dratinis on Pokemon Go Community Day because I missed those two last year. I didn't go to the event things outside because I had a bunch of overtime work I had to do. But in December when they brought them all back, I got about six or seven of these and about four shiny Dratinis. I got a Dratini last night, but sadly it wasn't shiny. And uh, yeah, you guys can read all this stuff in your own time. I think this is the person that sometimes does it, does it, Leak Duck or any of these other guys that do it. This is the one I want the most. This one along with Ponyta. I'm surprised um, Mankey's not shiny here. He should be. And if I get a Spoink, I'm going to be a little upset, man. I mean, it's cool to, like, walk around with it in Pokemon Go, but, man, I really want... How come Mankey's not shiny? He should be, man. What the hell? All right. Not to sound like an ungraceful bastard, but still. I'm grateful bastard. But man, this is the one I really want. That gold color for shiny Poochiana. Oh my god. And I really wish Swablu would have been on this list. Hopefully Swablu, hashtag Swablu Community Day and hashtag Mankey Day. Yeah, hell, even hashtag Ponyton, hashtag Sancho Day. Would be a freaking, a really, really beautiful reward for all of us Pokemon Go players. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. Yesterday when I was playing, I didn't get any shines. would suck. But uh, it is what it is. Hoping, because I've been going to so many parking lots all over the damn place after I get out of my job. It's like, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, other than that, I think the last two shinies I got was a shiny plus one in the parking lot. And then, again, I think it was either shiny Metatite or shiny, um, not Pinsir, but the other one next to it. Fuck. I don't remember his name at the, at the moment right now. But yeah, that's all I got to say for now, and uh, yeah, I'm done here. Links to the description box down below, card title on the side if you want guys want to read both of these articles. Fully and solely in your own time. And link to this Crash Bandicoot Nitro Fuel Cart trailer in the description box down below as well. And I'm out of here. I was really happy that they brought, like, they revamped some of the levels. They look pretty sick. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. Tacos and Kikimonis out there. I'll see you when I see you guys every day. Have a good night wherever you're at in the universe out there. Stay tuned for future articles, session reviews, including video gaming industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and that pretty much wraps up the video. Take it easy, stay safe, peace out with my sauerkraut, ladies and goodbye, we'll see all of you on the flip side. Take care, later.